2024 Mercedes-Benz E450 4Matic First Drive, Don't Screw Up the E-Class. The 2024 Mercedes-Benz E-Class is a big freaking deal. The softly styled E450 4Matic here may look like any other midsize luxury sedan to you, but the E-Class represents so much more. For long-time watchers of the brand, the E-Class is a legend. This is a former Car of the Year winner that does duty as a taxi cab outside the US, serves as an upscale suburban commuter, and still makes time to rip up the asphalt in the form of a 600-plus horsepower family wagon. While the GLC and GLE SUVs top the sales charts, people use the E and S-Class to judge the entire luxury brand. Oh, and not to make this personal, but I spent a year driving a 2021 Mercedes E450 4Matic after growing up in the back of my parents' late dash 80 SE class 4 doors. Better not screw this up, Mercedes. Pros. Fantastic engine. Quiet cabin. Lots of standard tech. Cons. Small entry slash exit to back seat. Fussy door handles. Center storage could be bigger. Heritage you can't buy. The E-Class story begins in 1993 when the name was first used on one of the brand's midsize sedans. Consider the fact that the 2024 E-Class is built in a factory that's been in the family since 1915 and you start to feel the heritage backing this car. In the U.S., we'll get E350 and E450 models. At launch, all American E-Class sedans will have standard Firmatic AWD, and it's not clear whether a lower-priced E350 rear-drive model will appear down the line. We were never big fans of the last-gen E350's turbo inline-four engine, but the new E350 is, like the E450, a 48-volt mild hybrid. This should mean an increase in refinement, smoother engine stop-slash-start transitions, and quick boosts of power when you need it. The E350 is good for 255 horsepower and 295 lbft, while the E450 comes with a healthy 375 horsepower and 369 lbft. Both engines are mated to a 9-speed automatic. After that year, in a 2021 E450, we found the refined, smooth, and quiet engine was the best part of the car. The driving experience. The same is true about the new 2024 E454 Matic. Beyond its refinement, the E450 justifies its place in the lineup with effortless and smooth acceleration. The car is also blissfully quiet, although if you find it too hushed under acceleration, Mercedes has a techie answer for that. The automaker has tweaked its progressive sports sound feature so you can make your car's inline 6 sound like a, slightly louder, V8 in any drive mode, complete with silly but still quiet cracks and pops in sport. The 2021 E450 reached 60 in a motor trend tested 4.6 seconds and we expect similar performance from the new one. One note on the car's 48 volt mild hybrid system, the engine stop start system on our test cars took a tad too long to start up again at quick stops. Drivers who take their time and come to complete stops will never notice anything, but those who drive more briskly may notice a minor delay as the car turns back on. Lately, we've had issues not with motor trend-tested, braking performance of Mercedes cars, but how they feel. Luckily, this wasn't a problem with the 2024 E450 as we drove, the cars combined easy-to-modulate brakes with a suspension that isolated the cabin from most, but not all, road imperfections. Just do it! Mercedes tuned steel suspensions haven't always impressed us, and it's unclear how the standard 2024 E-Class cars will ride. There's an easy solution to this uncertainty, get the technology package. If you can, just do it. Besides adding an air suspension, this bundle also includes rear axle steering, one of the best features to come out of Mercedes in years. We've seen rear steering systems where the rear wheels turn opposite the fronts up to 10 degrees at lower speeds, and in the same direction as the fronts at higher speeds. Here, the feature goes up to 4.5 degrees and you can feel the difference in maneuverability. So much tech. Mercedes has stuffed the 2024 E-Class with tech to entertain, engage, and protect. A 12.3-inch instrument cluster display offers a 3D depth effect, a feature that divided the motor trend staff when we experienced it on the S-Class. Move to the center stack and you'll see something familiar to anyone who has spent time in a Benz lately, 
a large, portrait-style screen. Here, it's 14.4 inches in size and has been laid out to make more tasks easier to operate straight from the home screen. That screen includes digital controls for temperature and airspeed, so no physical buttons or knobs here, and a tiny physical volume slider just below the bottom right corner. Just like the Mercedes touch-sensitive steering wheel controls, they're not intuitive at first, but in our experience driving a 2021 E450 for a year, you can eventually learn where the important controls are without looking down. And when that doesn't work, there's always the improved voice commands. We already previewed the 2024 E-Class interior in Silicon Valley, so we know how deeply software lives at the heart of this Mercedes. Many apps will facilitate interacting with your car in new ways beyond Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Those phone mirroring features are still around, but now you can access Spotify, Apple Music, and other media services directly by signing into apps in the native operating system. The graphics make Spotify feel like an integrated part of the Mercedes infotainment universe. In the future, we prefer album covers to fill up more of that giant 14.4-inch screen, but perhaps that's one over-the-air update away. There's also a selfie camera, games, and the ability to take zoom calls with one of the car's integrated cameras when the car is parked and without when it's in motion. Surprisingly, a 21-speaker 730-watt sound system is standard equipment on the 2024 E-Class. The Burmester 4D surround sound system places speakers in the headliner and two in the driver's seat itself, near your ears. The automaker tells us that right now, the seat-based speakers are only used for phone calls but is open to the possibility of using them for music in the future. A 360-degree camera, active parking assist, augmented video for the navigation system and a self-parking system are also all standard, strengthening our belief Mercedes is moving past the days of base trims with unimpressive levels of equipment. No hands required. Loaded cars will have an automatic lane change feature we experienced and appreciate. If you have the active cruise control on, if all Mercedes conditions are met, the car will change lanes without you doing a thing and then change back again when there's an opening. And if your exit is approaching, the car will look for an opening to, automatically, change lanes. Another 12.3-inch touchscreen is available for the front passenger, and as with other cars, we still see this as more of a tech-forward gimmick than something that moves luxury forward. All the impressive app functionality on the main screen? That's useful to the driver, who often spends a lot of time solo in the vehicle, but we wonder what the point of a road trip is if the front passenger's eyes are glued to a game or movie on a screen. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.